Let's be honest. Smart homes haven't exactly lived up to the smart in their name. You've got a smart bulb that only works with one app, a smart speaker that doesn't recognize your robot vacuum, and a door lock that's incompatible with everything else. It's like each company built their own little walled garden and then told you, yeah, just live here now. But that's exactly what Matter is here to fix. So if you've seen that Matter logo on a smart plug or light bulb box at the store, or you've heard tech people say, this is the future of smart homes, but weren't sure what it meant. This video is for you. Because Matter might just be the biggest change to smart homes since, well, smart homes. The dream of a smart home is simple. Walk in and your lights turn on. The thermostat adjusts. Music starts playing. You talk to any assistant and everything just works. But in reality, smart homes have been fragmented. Every device seemed to come with its own app. You had to choose a platform, Apple, Google, Amazon, or Samsung, and then stay loyal to it, hoping the products you bought would keep working after updates. Even worse, voice assistants couldn't talk to each other. Alexa couldn't control your Apple Home devices, Google Assistant didn't understand your SmartThings gear, and Siri just stood there in the corner like a bouncer guarding your HomeKit setup. It was anything but smart. Matter is a universal smart home standard that aims to fix all of this. It's basically a common language that smart home devices use so they can talk to each other, no matter who makes them. Think of it like USB for your smart home. You don't worry whether your USB cable works with Dell or HP. It just works. Matter wants to do the same for smart lights, plugs, sensors, thermostats, locks, and way more. Originally launched as Project Chip, connected home over IP, Matter officially debuted in 2022. It's run by the Connectivity Standards Alliance, the same folks behind Zigbee, and includes the biggest names in tech, Apple, Google, Amazon, Samsung, LG, and hundreds more. That's a rare level of cooperation. For starters, it's open source. That means developers can freely build support into their products without expensive licensing fees. It also means more eyes on the code, which usually leads to better security and faster innovation. It also relies on local communication. Unlike many older systems where every command has to travel out to the cloud and back, Matter devices can talk directly to each other over your home network. That means faster responses and devices that still work even when your internet goes down. And then there's Thread, the mesh networking tech that underpins many Matter devices. It's ultra-efficient, extends coverage through your home, and helps create a more resilient smart home setup. Here's the simplest way to think about it. Matter certified devices come with a QR code. You scan it with your smart home app, Apple Home, Google Home, Alexa, or SmartThings, and that app sets up the device locally. No separate apps, no weird cloud accounts. Just plug it in, scan, done. Each device talks through your home's Wi-Fi or through Thread, depending on the type. Your Matter controller, like a HomePod mini, Nest Hub, Echo or Samsung SmartThings Hub manages everything. And here's the best part. Once a Matter device is added to one platform, it can be shared with others. This is called multi-admin. So yes, you can control that one smart light with Siri, Google Assistant, and Alexa at the same time. With the latest updates like Matter 1.4, multi-admin has gotten even better, enabling smoother pairing across platforms and support for things like multi-device QR codes, energy monitoring, and even NFC onboarding. Right now, Matter already works with a surprisingly wide range of smart home devices. We're talking about things like smart light bulbs, plugs, smart locks, thermostats, HVAC systems, motion sensors, TVs, blinds, you name it. Even garage door controllers are part of the mix. And that's just what launched with Matter 1.0. Since then, it's only gotten better. Updates have brought in support for robot vacuums, major appliances like dishwashers, dryers, and even refrigerators and air purifiers. 
On top of that, matter's now moving into the energy space. Devices like EV chargers, solar panels, home batteries, and heat pumps are all supported. Matter 1.4, which dropped in late 2024, even added water heaters and kicked off a push toward automated energy management. So if you've got a home energy setup, maybe solar panels, a battery backup, an electric car, you're going to be able to control and automate all of it much more easily going forward. The only downside? There's still no support for security cameras or video doorbells. That's a big piece of the smart home puzzle that's still missing. But fingers crossed, we might see that added in a future update. Matter was built with security in mind. It uses end-to-end -end encryption, local control, and a secure onboarding process using QR codes or NFC. Only verified, certified Matter devices can join your smart home, and all communications stay local unless absolutely necessary. Plus, because it's an open standard with hundreds of companies watching, bugs get found and fixed faster. That said, any internet-connected device is still potentially vulnerable, especially as Matter moves away from centralized hubs and spreads the control across more endpoints. But so far, Matter's privacy and security practices are a huge step up from the old wild west of smart home tech. It's a common question with Matter. Do you still need a hub to make everything work? Yes and no. You don't need a brand specific hub anymore. No more relying on Zigbee bridges or proprietary controllers just to turn on a light. But you do need a Matter controller. And you probably already have one. Devices like the Apple TV 4K, Google Nest Hub, Echo 4th Gen, or even your smartphone can act as Matter controllers. If you're using thread-based devices, you'll also want a thread border router, which many of the same devices already include. If you're wondering whether your current devices can join this new Matter ecosystem, the answer isn't black and white. Some devices can be upgraded with a firmware update, especially if they already use Thread or Zigbee. For example, Philips Hue updated its bridge to support Matter. Amazon has been rolling out updates to Echo devices. Akara and SwitchBot are doing the same for their hubs. But many older devices won't make the cut. If you're unsure, check with the manufacturer or just look for new gear with the Matter logo. With Matter picking up momentum, now is a good time to start investing in compatible devices, especially if you're upgrading your smart home in 2025. Setup is easier, compatibility issues are fewer, and you can use whichever voice assistant or app you prefer. Plus, local control means faster response times and better reliability. That said, Matter still isn't perfect. Integration from Apple, Google, and Amazon has been slower than we'd like. Not every feature from every device is available across all platforms. And full Matter casting support, energy management, and multi-platform syncing still have a few bugs. But it's improving with every release. For years, building a smart home meant picking sides, Apple, Google, Amazon, and sticking to them. But Matter is changing that. It's not perfect yet, but it's already making things simpler, faster, and way more flexible. So when you're buying your next smart device, check for the Matter logo. It might just save you a lot of hassle. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, you know what to do.